China is creating a new 800M rocket to explore space, competing with SpaceX and the U.S. After becoming the fifth nation to achieve independent launch capability and the third country in history to launch a human into space in 2003, China has since drastically expanded its space program. The United States and China are currently engaged in a space race rivalry, and this time the participation of a commercial corporation, SpaceX, adds interest to the competition. What is the strange new rocket China is creating, and how practical is the concept? Why does China need such a spaceship and how will it enable China to surpass SpaceX and the US in the space race? Let's find out. One of the hallmarks of the 20th century has been man's effort to expand beyond our home planet. The United States and Russia were the top dogs in the space race competition, which brought out the best in both countries. However, the field has since expanded to include other world giants, such as China, which launched its first satellite into orbit in 1970. Rockets for military purposes date back to at least the 13th century in China, with the first recorded use of military rocket technology made in 1232 CE China. The Chinese deployed flying fire lances against the Mongol Empire as they advanced on the former Chinese capital, Kaifeng. After significant scientific, interplanetary, and economic applications of rockets in the 20th century, China, it seems, is here to take the throne as the interceptors and experts of this human invention. The race between the United States and China to explore outer space has always been sort of acrimonious. However, with the expansion of private sectors of the U.S. into space, such as Elon Musk's SpaceX, the relationship may be getting more tumultuous. According to a recently released study from the United States Department of Defense, China has more than doubled its number of Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance ISR, satellites, from 124 to 250 in 2019. China had 499 satellites, including non-ISR ones, by the start of 2022, second only to the U.S., with 2,944, of which Starlink accounts for more than 2,300. After SpaceX's achievement of SpaceX as the first private company to successfully launch orbit and recover a spacecraft, we now have confirmation that China has begun working on constructing its own extremely huge spacecraft that can reach lengths of up to 0.6 miles. The National Natural Science Foundation of China, a funding organization run by the nation's Ministry of Science and Technology, previously issued a broader call for research idea submissions that included the initiative. The foundation claimed that such a spacecraft was important strategic aeronautics equipment for the future utilization of space resources, a study of the wonders of the cosmos, and long-term living in orbit. Practically all of China's over 400 launch missions so far have employed the Long March Changzhen rocket family. Beijing has now unveiled the results of its long research into building a space monolith ship. The CZ-9, also known as the Long March 9, is an 800-meter-long rocket with a payload capacity of up to 140 tons for Low Earth Orbit LEO. That is more than three times the size of the SpaceX Heavy Falcon rocket, which was recently launched successfully. The prospects for the long-rumored CZ-9 Super Heavy lifter were hampered when China announced that it was also investigating developing a triple-core rocket that would resemble two U.S. rockets, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy and United Launch Alliance's Delta IV Heavy. For the time being, it looks like China is moving forward with both, with a 2025 launch date for the triple-core design variant. According to Chinese officials, the launch of the CZ-9 will take place in 2030. This corresponds to earlier time Line projections. The target date of 2034 CZ-9 rocket development may appear far, but it would be reasonably quick in comparison to NASA's design and building of the Space Launch System rocket, which began a decade ago. The initial variant of the SLS rocket is expected to have a lift capacity of 70 to 85 tons. NASA's rocket will have a lift capacity of roughly 130 tons only after two more significant modifications, which are expected to cost around 10 to 20 billion dollars. Compared with SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, which can only launch 53.5 tons, the Falcon Heavy costs roughly 200 million dollars. China's previous rockets usually do not have a backup launch system because their rockets are generally disposable, but 
Long March 9 will only be used once every five years. However, if China could develop a reusable craft with its launch capabilities, it would be able to launch roughly seven times more payloads into low Earth orbit than it can now. Because they wouldn't have to build a brand new craft every time, China may save millions of dollars in launch costs if they can make their craft reusable as SpaceX has done with the Falcon 9. With this, they would be able to launch more than twice as much mass into low Earth orbit for only half as much money as any savings are beneficial when attempting to reduce the cost of space travel. In the further technological capacity of the rockets, China appears to be catching up in terms of space payload and doing so arguably faster than SpaceX and even NASA. The Long March 9 will have a payload capacity to LEO of 308,000 to 330,000 pounds. According to Zhang Bainan, chief designer at China, China Aerospace Science and Technology Corp. When the massive rocket launches, it would be much heavier than anything even NASA could currently handle. China bragged that its Long March 9 launch vehicle would be more potent than NASA's space launch system. The Long March 9 is scheduled to launch in 2025 with China's primary space station module. The super heavy lift rocket seems designed to launch big pieces of infrastructure into orbit to assist in the construction of the joint China-Russia International Lunar Research Station. The Tiangong Space Station, Chinese for Palace in the Sky, is a space station being built by China in low Earth orbit, and it seems the development of their space station for deep space exploration was what facilitated the need for this new rocket and the development of other next-generation orbital transportation vehicles. Tiangong's objective and mission include the further development of spacecraft rendezvous technology, breakthrough in essential technologies such as permanent human operations in orbit, long-term autonomous flights of the space station, regenerative life support technology, and autonomous cargo and fuel supply technology. The exact use of China's space station beyond space exploration may involve options including long-term off-world settlements or space manufacturing facilities that use microgravity and ample solar power to create high-value products like semiconductors and optical equipment. However, they would all require high upkeep expenses. The International Space Station, which is only 361 feet wide at its widest point, according to NASA, cost roughly $100 billion to construct. This may also explain why China has been avid in seeking the cooperation of private sector commercial activities. According to the designer of China's human spaceflight program, when our space station is constructed and operational, we will actively urge the private sector to engage in space in many ways. We wish to see competitive, cost-effective commercial space actors participate in sectors such as space applications and space resource development. This is particularly interesting as it seems that the only private sector China wants in space is its. In a previous event, China military experts asked for the construction of a hard-kill weapon, capable of destroying Elon Musk's Starlink satellite system if it poses a threat to China's national security. The researchers emphasized Starlink's great potential for military uses, as well as the necessity for China to develop countermeasures to monitor, disrupt, or even destroy the developing satellite mega constellation. There have been several other intersections between China and Musk's space company in the past. During the the talking stages for the proposed aircraft, Wang Jiangjun, president of China's Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, made a presentation showing off a design for a two-stage methane liquid launch system that looked suspiciously familiar to SpaceX's Starship spacecraft. Experts, however, debunked such claims by citing some differences between the proposed Chinese craft and SpaceX's Starship. So far, the Chinese space project has been going as smoothly as can be expected. The intended launch vehicle, according to Zhao Jianping, chief designer of China's lunar exploration program, will be able to go as far as Mars. The CEO of SpaceX has long had a dream of building a habitation for humans on Mars. It has been his ultimate goal all along in building the Falcon 9 and the Starship rocket, which will allow SpaceX to deliver personnel and cargo to Mars. Wang, who was mentioned earlier, claims that China has greater aspirations than just a Mars sample return mission, scheduled to launch in early 2029. 
These and other unspecified robotic missions to Mars, such as in-situ resource utilization tests such as extracting subsurface water from beneath the surface or generating oxygen, are intended to serve as foundation for initial human missions beginning with an orbital outpost, then landing on Mars' surface and finally constructing a Mars base. With all these similarities and contrast, it seems the space race might no longer be between the US but between China and Elon. Which do you believe would be more effective, Elon's Starship or China's Long March 9? Comment below!